So when we add our fractional part, we have 37 thirtieths. And when we add our 10 and our 4, we we'd have 14. Now, it's okay to leave an improper fraction if that's your entire answer. But, but you, there's no such thing as a mixed number that has a whole number and an improper fraction. A mixed number can only have a proper fraction. So we can't leave this 37 thirtieths with the top number bigger and also have the 14 there. So what we have to do is to change that 37 thirtieths to a mixed number. 30 will go into 37 one time with 7 thirtieths left over. So that whole number 1 needs to be put over here with this 14 and to give us 15. And we end up with our, as our answer, 15 and 7 thirtieths. And that would be the only correct way to leave that answer. Let's try another one. 5 and 5 6 plus 3 and 7 9 plus 2 and a half. Okay, again we take our biggest denominator, which is 9, and see if we can use it as our common denominator. But neither 6 nor 2 will go into 9 evenly, so we can't use 9. So let's multiply 9 by 2 and try 18. Well, 6 will go into 18 easily, and so will 2. So 18 would be our common denominator. So we need to change this to 18, this to 18, and this to 18. So when we do that, we have to multiply 6 by 3 and also 5 by 3. So that's going to give us 15 eighteenths. We have to multiply the 9 by 2 and the 7 by 2 and that will give us 14 eighteenths. And then we can multiply the 2 by 9 to get 18 and the 1 by 9. Whatever you multiply the bottom by, you have to multiply the top by and get 9 eighteenths. So we have 15 eighteenths, 14 eighteenths, and 9 eighteenths. So if we add our numerators together, 5 and 4 is 9, and 9 is 18. Carry our 1, 1, 2, 3, we end up with 38 eighteenths. And over here, we add 5, and 3 is 8, and 2 is 10. So we have 10 and 38 eighteenths. Now again, we can't leave that 38 eighteenths. We can reduce it first or divide it out either way. 38 eighteenths is not reduced, so we would have to, to work on it some. Um, I think this time, since I know I can't leave a mixed number, I'm just going to go ahead and divide it out. The 38 18th divided, divided 18 to 38, it would go two times and leave me with two 18ths left. And that would be the same thing as two and one ninth. So what I'd need to do then is to put my 10 and my two together. And when I did that, I don't have a good place to write this answer because I have another something else written down below here. So let's see if I can put it right here. That would give me 12 and 1 ninth as my answer. 12 and 1 ninth. I think I'll write it maybe over here so you can see it. 12 and 1 ninth. Because my 38 eighteenths became 2 and 2 eighteenths, which was 2 and 2 ninths, so I had to add the 10 and the 2 together, and that gave me 12. And so that gave me 12 and a ninth. 
Now another thing I could have done would have been when I got the 38 eighteenths here, I could have gone ahead and reduced that. Let's move over this way and let me show you. When I came up with 10 and 38 eighteenths, I could have reduced each of these by 2. I divided each of these by 2. I would have had 10 and 19 ninths. Then divided that out. 19 ninths divides into 2 holes and 1 ninth. So what I would have needed to do then was to have put that my 10 and 2 together and I would have had 12 and 1 ninth. So I could get my 12 and 1 ninth that way or I could start off with the 2 and 2 eighteenths and make it 2 and 1 ninth and then get my 12 and 1 ninth. Whichever way was easier for you. But you do have to take the improper fraction and eventually make it into a mixed number. Now, there's also another method for working a problem like this. If you don't like the carrying that we're doing, the other method is to change each mixed number to an improper fraction before you start. Now the only problem with that is that our numbers get real big, but I want to show you that you could do that. Okay, you can't see my original problem written straight across horizontally, but we can look at this. If we made the 5 and 5, 6 an improper fraction, We'd say 6 times 5 is 30, plus 5 would be 35, 6. So I'd write down 30, 5, 6. Then my 3 and 7 ninths, I'd say 9 times 3 is 27, plus 7 would give me 34 ninths. Then my last one I need to make improper is the two and a half. I'd say two times two is four and one would give me five halves. So I'm going to put my five halves down and then give us some room to work this. Now, after you did that, then you would have to get your common denominator. The common denominator would be 18, just like it was before. It's just that this time our numerators are going to end up being pretty big. So we'd have to multiply 6 by 3. And then we'd have to say 35 times 3. Let's do that right here to make sure we don't mess up. That would be 15, carry our 1. 91 would be 10. So we'd have 100, 5, 18. So the first one. Then here we say 9 times 2 to get 18 would be 34 times 2, so that would be 8 and 6, or 68. Then down here I'd have to multiply by 9, so I'd end up with 45 18. So, I'm, so to make sure I don't get mixed up, I'm going to write my numerators down, 105, 68, 45, and add those numerators up. That would give me 13 plus 5 is 18, carry 1, 7, 11, and 1 and 1 would be 2. So I'd end up with 218 18. Now, I need to reduce that. So if I've reduced it, I'm going to go ahead and divide out my twos first. I'm going to divide each of these by two. When I do, this one is going to become 109, and this one's going to become 9. Now, that would be okay to leave the answer as 109 9. 